Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ready to explore the natural side of candle making? Today we're unveiling the secrets of an enchanting yet often underappreciated craft, creating candles with nature's bounty. We're going to delve into everything from finding the perfect natural waxes to introducing advanced candle techniques. So, don't let this opportunity slip away, hit subscribe and the notification bell to continue receiving engaging videos. Stay with us and let's dive deep into the world of natural candle making. First things first, we need to pick our wax. There's a world of natural waxes out there, each with its own unique characteristics. Let's take a closer look at three popular ones, beeswax, soy wax, and palm wax. Beeswax is revered for its naturally sweet aroma and long clean burn. However, it can be a bit pricier than other options. Soy wax, on the other hand, is a vegan-friendly choice that's known for its smooth finish and excellent scent throw. But keep in mind that it burns quicker than beeswax. Lastly, palm wax is a hard, durable wax that creates beautiful crystalline patterns in finished candles. But sourcing it responsibly can be a challenge due to environmental concerns. All these waxes can be purchased in bulk from various online retailers or craft stores. So, have you chosen your wax? Great, let's move on to the next step. Now that we have our wax, it's time to add some color and scent. Imagine a candle that not only lights your space but also fills it with your favorite color and aroma. This is where we start talking about the magic of plant-based dyes and essential oils. By using these all-natural ingredients we can create candles that are not only visually appealing but also offer a sensory experience. Let's start with color. Plant-based dyes are an eco-friendly way to add a splash of color to your candles. From the soft hues of chamomile to the deep blues of indigo, the plant world offers an array of colors to play with. To use these dyes, simply add them to the melted wax, stirring until the color is evenly distributed. Experiment with different amounts to achieve varying levels of color intensity. But color isn't all about aesthetics. It can also play a role in your candle's function. By crafting layered candles with contrasting colors, you can create a visual representation of the candle's burn time. Or for a more artistic touch, Try creating marbled or swirled effects. This is where the fun really begins, as no two candles will ever look the same. Now, let's talk about scent. This is where the concept of aromatherapy comes into play. By using essential oils we can create candles that do more than just smell good. Different oils can evoke different moods, from the calming scent of lavender to the invigorating aroma of citrus. But remember, safety is paramount. Always use oils that are safe for burning, and never exceed the recommended amount. Creating aromatherapy candles is a process of experimentation and discovery. Start by adding a few drops of oil to your melted wax, then adjust according to your preference. You might even consider creating your own blends for a truly personalized candle. With color and scent added, our candles are starting to take shape, but we're not done yet. We'll explore further aspects of candle crafting in the next segment. Until then, enjoy the journey of creating your own colorful and aromatic candles. Want to add some seasonal flair or botanical beauty to your candles? Here's how. Let's start with the seasonal aspect. Handmade candles are a fantastic way to celebrate different seasons and holidays. For instance, crafting candles for Christmas could involve traditional colors like red, green, and white, with scents such as pine, cinnamon, or peppermint. Alternatively, for Halloween, you might opt for orange, black, or purple candles with a spicy pumpkin or smoky bonfire aroma. But it's not just about Christmas or Halloween. Consider all the seasons and the multitude of holidays throughout the year. Spring could inspire floral-scented candles and pastel shades, while autumn might call for earthy tones and warm, cozy fragrances. There's no limit to the creativity you can express. Moving on, let's talk about limited edition and seasonal collections. These are a great way to keep things fresh and exciting. You could have a summer collection featuring tropical scents, or a winter collection with comforting warm fragrances, limited editions also create a sense of urgency for your customers, making your candles even more desirable. Now let's switch gears and dive into the world of botanical elements. Dried flowers and herbs not only add aesthetic appeal to your candles, but can also subtly enhance their scent. Lavender, rose petals, chamomile, or even slices of dried citrus can be incorporated into the wax. However, Make sure to evenly distribute these botanicals throughout the candle to ensure they burn safely and effectively. Creating floral and botanical designs can be as simple or as intricate as you wish. You might sprinkle a handful of dried flowers on top of your candle for a rustic look, or carefully arrange them into a beautiful pattern for a more refined aesthetic. 
Remember the beauty of handmade candles lies in their uniqueness and your personal touch. These additions certainly make our candles more charming don't they? Now let's give them some shape. It's time to pour our wax into molds and give our candles their final shape. The world of molds is as vast and varied as the candles you can create. For those who wish to take their candle making to the next level, crafting custom silicone molds is a great option. Silicone molds are flexible, reusable, and can be made in a plethora of designs. To create your own, you'll need silicone putty, a non-stick surface, and an object to mold. After mixing the silicone putty, press it onto your chosen object, let it cure, and voila, you have a custom mold. But don't worry if you don't have access to silicone or prefer a more straightforward approach. Household items can also serve as excellent candle molds. Look around your home and you'll see potential everywhere. Small glass jars, teacups, even old candle holders. Remember to choose items that can withstand heat and have a smooth interior for easy removal. When it comes to shapes, don't limit yourself to the traditional cylindrical or square molds. Geometric shapes like pyramids and spheres can make your candles stand out. Or go for novelty shapes like hearts or stars for a fun twist. Now, the moment of transformation. Pour your melted wax into the chosen mold, taking care not to overfill. If you're using a silicone mold, remember to place it on a firm, flat surface before pouring. For molds made from household items, ensure they are heat-resistant and stable. Once the wax is in the mold, insert the pre-tabbed wick. Keep it centered and straight so your candle burns evenly later on. You can use a wick holder or even a simple clothespin to hold the wick in place as the wax cools and solidifies. It's a magical moment watching the liquid wax settle into its new form taking on the shape of the mold, promising the warm, flickering glow to come. Our candles are now taking shape. As they cool down, let's move on to some advanced techniques. Feeling adventurous? Let's try some advanced candle-making techniques. These methods will help you elevate your craft, and they're sure to catch the eye of anyone who sees your creations. First up is the art of making multi-wick candles. These candles burn evenly and create a larger pool of melted wax, which releases more fragrance. To make a multi-wick candle, you'll need to measure the width of your candle container and choose the number of wicks accordingly. Remember to space the wicks evenly for a uniform burn. Now let's talk about embedding objects in candles. This technique is a great way to personalize your candles or make thematic designs. You can embed anything from small trinkets to seashells, stones, or even glitter. The key here is to ensure that the objects are not flammable, and they are embedded in the wax at a safe distance from the wick. Last but not least, let's dive into the world of floating candles. These candles add a touch of magic to any setting floating gracefully on the water's surface. To create a floating candle you'll need to use a light wax, like soy or beeswax, and a mold that gives the candle a flat bottom and rounded top. Once lit, the candle will float on water creating a mesmerizing effect. But here's a note of caution. These methods may take a few tries to get right. Don't be discouraged if your first few attempts don't turn out as planned. Candle making is a process that requires patience and practice. Also, remember to always prioritize safety when working with wax and fire. Keep a close eye on your candles while they're burning, and never leave them unattended. With these techniques, you can take your candle making skills to the next level. But remember, practice makes perfect. And there you have it. The art of making candles with natural materials. We've journeyed through sourcing natural waxes, adding color and aroma, incorporating seasonal and botanical elements, molding and shaping to advanced candle techniques. Each step is a testament to the beauty and versatility of handmade candles. Remember the best part is seeing your vision come to life. So, light up your creativity and let your space glow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Happy candle making!